Assalamualaikum fans Harimau Malaya hari ni. Special bersama saya dengan uh, player KL yang seka- sekarang eh berada di Uzbekistan untuk uh, perlawanan AFC menentang uh, Sogdiana. Okay, so hari ni kita bersama dengan Declan Lambert. Hi Declan Lambert, how are you? I am good, thanks. How are you? Great. So, how was your preparation for tomorrow's match? Yeah, it's been good. It was a long, very long travel. I mm-hmm. think it was nearly hours, so that was quite tough on the legs. But we've had a few sessions now, so, and we have one more tonight before the game, so it should be should be good. So, have you adapted to that kind of situation? The cool weather, the long journey of traveling. That kind of stuff. Every, everyone, everyone says it's cold, <laughs> but it's it's fine. It's quite warm actually. But I guess they're used to very hot. But That's I think crazy. this is very, very kind of weather. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's jump into the serious question. Yes. Now that KLFA has given out a statement regarding Roman and Paulo process of naturalization, so most probably there will be, uh, local players for KL City. Mm-hmm. So as a teammate, you must be happy, right, with the news of that. And then, in neutral way, is this the right decision, and do you think it will affect uh local players' future? Well, I think it's for Paulo and Romel. It's good. They're oh. very, very quality players. Um, yeah. and I think they're available for the national team as well. They'll be a good yeah. addition. Um, it's tough to say how it will affect local oh, players. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. next, I think the the foreign spots increase, so it's, it's tough to say. But um, it's so uh, the, the process of naturalization to Paulo and Romel will bring in some more import players, right? It will bring more slots for import players. So, do you think it's fair to the local players? Well, yeah, it just yeah, it's tough. Mm-hmm. It's it's harder for them. The mm-hmm. local players to get um mm-hmm. you know positions in the starting eleven, but mm-hmm. I guess it um makes them want uh, forces them to uh, improve their game a lot more, knowing that there's less spots. So yeah, mm-hmm. we'll see. You never know what happens. Yeah, many think that Paulo is like too old to be naturalized, even though his performance is incredible. While Romel is young and have the potential to fill in the slot for national team. So what's your personal opinion on this? Yeah, <laughs> I think both players are very good. At, um, so, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, both players are very, very high quality. And mm. yeah, if they're available for national team and there'll be good additions to the squad. Okay. What does Roma and Paulo feel when they knew about the news of them will be naturalized? Are they excited to be Malaysian like you? Uh, I haven't really spoken to them about mm-hmm. it, but I guess they, they are excited. As someone who is stuck in the middle of crisis between club and country role, do you agree with the statement from Coach Boyan regarding the limited usage by Kim Pan Gon on you and also Zafri in the recent uh, uh, Kings Cup? So... Look, yeah, it's a tough situation to be in because if I say something, I feel like some I'll anger one of the coaches. So I'd yeah. rather not thinking. But it was just a tough situation for for both both coaches to be in. You know, Boyan wants the best for KL, and uh, Coach Kim wants the best for Malaysia. So it's really tough. Yeah. How do you feel when you get called up to national, but then you uh got to play around ten minutes only for the match so how do you feel about that to be honest i just wanted to make my debut so i was happy with the 10 minutes mm-hmm. i just wanted to make my first cap and mm-hmm. yeah so i'll i was personally i was happy with that let's see if you're again called up by national team for the aff cup in december if i'm not mistaken but due to the recent criticism by coach boyan and he refused to release any KL player to national camp that uh, the competition is outside of the FIFA calendar. So how do you feel about that? Do you feel lost or something like that? Because you 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 want to play for national, right? 
But your coach. Personally, I yeah, if I get the call up, I would want to mm -hmm. go. But yeah, I, it's their decision. Uh, okay. Boyens is because it's outside the window. So, and I'm a KL player, mm -hmm. so it's yeah, there's not much I can do. But yeah. So between uh between the club and national team, which one is your priority? From your own. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can do that because whatever I say. People will get angry. So, <laughs> next question, please. <laughs> okay. Do you think because of your position in the game, because we know your original position is different from the the one that you used to play here, right in KL, uh, affects your performance? But for the sake of the team, you need to sacrifice yourself for that. Are you confident that you can avoid the same mistake, uh, in Mohan Bagan, considering you might get the game requires you or in the left back, actually, yeah. Uh, I, I don't mind where I play. I mm -hmm. prefer right back, but I'm so used to playing left back now. So uh, it's very similar to me. So I don't mind. It's okay. Let's talk about your brother. Do you think Ryan deserves a chance to be called up to national team? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. After after that hat-trick um, last game against Sarawak, yeah. He gets, so, I, I think he's given a chance. Yeah, it will be great to have your brother in the national team. Team right together, and what his yeah. feeling last time during the Kings Cup being not called up to the national. What is he feeling? Um, I think he was a bit upset. Obviously, not uh -huh. getting called up. Yeah. Um, but I think that's one of the the main reasons why he uh -huh. oh not, but the he played so well. Yeah. Uh, the the game up the cup, um is made a bit of inspiration for him, motivation, I should say. And he's yes, got three goals. <laughs> I really hope you and your brother get call up for national team. So, last question for today: Will you stick with KL even if you receive a better offer from the top three clubs in the league? <laughs> Moment, I still have one more year left on my contract okay. with KL. That's the plan for now. So, okay, yeah. so. Will potential win in AFC Cup can change your mind and make you stay in the club or Coach Boyan is the uh, deciding factor for you to stay in the club after you have finished the contract of one year? Yeah, I really like Boyan as a coach. He, uh -huh. He's helped me this season. So, if, uh -huh. yeah, I, w I would really like to play under Boyan again. Yeah. So, you, you like being with Kenny and the other team as well, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Kenny, you know, he brings a lot to a team. He's he, he's very, very fun. A nice guy as well, very generous. Um, last week he he paid for everyone's uh, meal at Samba. <laughs> uh, so yeah, of course, Kenny's also another factor of staying at KL. All right, so that is all for today. Thank you, Declan. For your time thank you thank you see you again and good luck all the best for tomorrow's yeah, match thank you all right thank you all right